Jimmy secret number two, stance and weight. First of all, when we think of stance, we think of our feet, but I'm going to include the middle section of the body as part of stance instead of putting it in posture. Um, with your back straight and all of that, you really won't be, you know, leaning down or, or caving in uh, with your rib cage, but you still need to lift up a little bit and really extend up so that this part of your body feels a little bit empty and free. Okay. All right. So usually when we think about stance, we think about feet. And in belly dance, you don't want to have your feet turned out or turned in. You want them straight ahead and ideally right underneath your hip bones. Yes, there are times when we take a wider stance like shoulder or maybe even really wide when we want to really hit an accent. But for the sake of efficiency, we want to be just right underneath the hip bones. Feet are right together, not together, but right together. One is not in front or back is what I meant. They're side by side. Okay. So now when we are doing uh, shimmy, I often say, put your weight on your whole foot. So right now I want you to feel as you're standing there, where is your weight? Is it on the inside of your foot? Is it on the outside of your foot? Do you feel it more on your heels, like you're almost going to fall backwards? Do you feel it more on your toes? You should feel your weight on your whole foot, both feet equal, 50-50. As you shimmy, keep it equal. That is the most efficient. Okay. So I've told you all the time about keeping your weight on your whole foot, but I've never really explained how to do that. Um, so we have to think a little bit about our knees in this because when our knees roll in, which most women, and I think some men also have this problem, the knees roll in and the weight becomes uh, centered on the inside of the foot. Plus our knees are not as efficient when they're not exactly parallel. So there are two ways to fix that problem. One, you can turn your feet out a bit, but I just told you not to do that. So the other way is to put a little pressure on the inside of your leg so that your knees will be parallel. So right now, if you look at my knees, if you look at the center and you imagine laser pointers are in the center of each of my knees, you will imagine that sooner or later, those lines will cross. But if I apply a little pressure here and let my knees come more to the front straight, now I'm exactly parallel and those pointers will never cross. Okay, so like this, just try it for yourself and see, okay? So we've covered both stance and weight. Weight is on the whole foot, always, okay? Unless sometimes you're doing a one leg shimmy or something like that, keep your weight equally divided while you are doing shimmy. 